Good morning, Lido fans, and welcome to a special edition of Brick Hall. Uh, as you can see, I'm shooting from the back alley of my Lido city. Just something different to do, uh, something to change it up. Uh, I would got tired of shooting in the infinite blank void. Uh, unfortunately, um, my cat has started to reside there now that the sun has shifted ever so slightly with the coming seasons. So, um, likely I will not be shooting over there uh, in the foreseeable future. So. Uh, I'm camped over here for now. I installed this uh, big screen TV to uh, put up little uh, tidbits and things for items and whatnot uh, because the background's rather busy. Uh, it's Lido City. Things are supposed to be busy and lively and, and bright and hard to put, uh, put a, a word over in the background. See, if I were to use white, that wouldn't show, or if I use black, that wouldn't show right there. So it's a very weird background. So just made it easy for me made it easy for me to edit i think my coffee's done so anyway today is a special thing um uh, i decided to look, go through my lego city uh, vehicles which is why i have a road plate here today um and go through and check out all my past vehicles and how they compare with the modern versions uh special uh that i didn't like to call then and now uh and so, without further ado, let me grab the two things and share. All the way from the year 1988, the year that brought us time-traveling DeLoreans, it is the little ambulance that could. Uh, this actually came to me from a thrift store um, and is the only remaining piece from the original set. Uh, the Emergency Trauma Center, set 6380, uh, released in 1988, as previously mentioned. Um, when this originally came to me, it was in such a bad condition that it was pretty much cheap it was it was cheap 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 um, so uh, the reasoning was uh, it was such a yellowed and dusty just toy that nobody wanted to mess with it uh, and so I cleaned it up and found that the top of it was so brown that it was almost tanned uh, you can almost see the uh, the original white there and what's left of the tan that um, I was able to take out so um, I basically did my research and found that I if you were to dip um, white pieces in hydrogen peroxide formulas uh, and send them out in the sun, that you were you'd be able to bleach the white um, back into the pieces. Uh, unfortunately, uh, it doesn't work with all colors. The red didn't really need it, um, so I really didn't really didn't put it in there. Uh, black, of course, not. Um, but yeah, so I was able to restore it semi to its original form. Uh, a little four stud wide cool little ambulance um, that has uh, a couple little hinge pieces Ooh, this one's tough um, Lego liked to do hinge pieces back in the day uh, so if you see hinge pieces uh, for vehicles just know that they're old and uh, you might have something really cool on your hands if you happen to find just like one piece in the thrift store find uh, and you don't know what it is Maybe you can backtrack and figure it out based on that one piece. So, very simple little uh, vehicle. Uh, you just love the simplicity of. You just gotta love the simplicity of old Lego. Um, in the back here, we have a little gurney. Got a couple little wheels here. Uh, Lego doesn't do that anymore. Uh, just save plastic because, to be honest, it's just going to be in the back here most of the time, endlessly, um, <laughs> sending people to the hospital. I, I'm just saying because they're the plastic and they will just be there forever. Um, but yeah, so fun little little thing. Uh, I just love the nostalgia a bit of it. Uh, so let's see if uh, anything modern can hold up to the original. Uh, well, close enough to the original. Um, yeah, so let's just see. So nearly 30 years later, we ended up with set 60204, the city hospital with accompanying ambulance. Uh, because you can't have a hospital without an ambulance. Uh, and things have gotten quite updated, as you can see. Um, still, we got the basic white and red uh, kind of blinds on the side. But we have more stickers. Uh, as uh, you may have noticed in the last uh, last vehicle, uh, they're all Red Cross, and now they're generic kind of hospital. Um, I guess they call them 
well, I don't know. I call them asterisks because that's the way they look. Uh, there's a couple of stickers. There's a sticker here, sticker there, sticker pretty much everywhere. Uh, because Modern Lego loves to use stickers, uh, my favorite ones are always the license plates, which are always corresponding to the uh, set. So if you're at a loss for what set it is, look at, always try to find a license plate. Uh, guaranteed. Or uh, maybe a side panel with uh, the number on the side as well. Uh, but the basic functionality of this set is kind of the same as the last one. Just a guy uh, up in the front uh, going on patrols, helping people out. Um, just things have gotten a little bit more raised up, a little bit beefier. Um, in the front here we have just a, a specialized piece to kind of fit over the top. There's another sticker. Um, it kind of fits in nicely, it doesn't break off like <laughs> the hinges like before. Uh, although we still couldn't get past the hinge, but this one's made with a couple of uh, bars and whoop, <laughs> a couple of um, couple of uh, uh, handles and uh, just some, I don't know, one by one things. Anyway, as I mentioned previously, there's no wheels. Huh. Because it's uh, supposed to be in here, in this rather roomy, kind of moody uh, ambulance interior. Just kind of raised up there. A lot of bricks, a lot of bricks in the bottom of this. Uh, so you had to build it up, uh, whereas uh, old Lego usually had a uniform body to go throughout. Uh, the last one did not, but most of the time they did. Um, but yeah, to demonstrate, there's a snot brick right there, and just the whole front grill is just stuck right on the front, uh, rather conveniently. Yeah, I got it right. Um, but yeah, same functionality, same kind of things going on, um, which is better. Uh, let me bring out the old one and let's do a side by side. So as we can kind of see, this one, the newer one, is rather large comparatively to the little guy here. Um, it kind of looks like a little uh, camper van now um, instead of a, well, ambulance. Uh, just there's a lot of wording, a lot of localization that has to be done on these type of uh, things. Uh, so I'm not really a fan of stickers. Um, I'm more of a fan of just basic, basic, simplified vehicles. This is a basic functionality thing. We're trying. We're not trying to to make a whole scenario for you to play with. That's for you to do, and that's what uh, Old Lego does. Um, and so I kind I just had to respect this little endless possibilities that could come from this little vehicle. Uh, that, isn't, that isn't to say that this has no play value. It certainly has the grab factor that children have with some vehicles. This is rather fragile. Um, so this is a lot sturdier because it uses a lot more bricks. I'm actually squeezing quite hard there. Um, and so really this would survive a kid playing with it. I'm not sure if uh, young kids could necessarily put it together, but they would survive the throws that children can give toys. So that's a, really a point in this one's category. Um, but yeah, just in, insofar as um, just play value alone, this one has uh, a curve um, uh, compared to this one. This one's squeaky wheels. But if we look at the minifigures, uh, we can see that, again, oh, they're actually kind of swapped. Let's change places! There we go. As we see, the old guy here uh, has the Red Cross uh, shield or Red Cross cross on his chest. Uh, and the new one has sort of the asterisk as before. Uh, there's a back printing, whereas the old one did not have anything like that. Um, oh, and we see a little bit of uh, metallic shimmer there. Um, just really, there's quite a difference between these two minifigures. Uh, 30 years difference. Uh, just really kind of un unique how, how we've gone, ooh, this guy's arm. Ugh. It's probably, it was probably stuck to the side for 30 years. Uh, uh, there we go, buddy. There we go. Stretch those arms. Get back there. Uh, actually, me might have been driving for 30 years. That's why his arms are stuck. Oh, please, they've been stuck up so long. 
but anyway, uh, it's just interesting to see how much uh, things, how much things have progressed in society to allow, um, you know, women, women ambulance drivers, women paramedics, um, and uh, just the fact that it's reflected in a toy company, um, just to be all inclusive and uh, and that sort of thing, it's a good thing. I enjoy it. I enjoy seeing uh, just these 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 awesome ladies here with. I love these hats. I love these special hair pieces here. Um, but yeah, I, I just I just like that we we've, we've gone past the uh, simple classic minifigure smile and gone with more detailed, you know, figures. I can't quite get the face there. Um, there we go. Uh, that we've gotten to this type of level with these minifigures that we can have our own scenarios. Um, or if you need some help, that uh, that they they kind of fill in some blanks for you, that you're not quite as at a loss as like why is this guy? Why does he have a stethoscope? Why is he in an ambulance? Shouldn't he be a doctor? Shouldn't he be doing his work in, in, in doctoring and whatnot? <laughs> doctoring and whatnot. Uh, I, I just I wanted to point out really quick. If you see this guy's legs here, this is no, another example of extreme extreme. Um, sun fading over the years because he was sitting for so long that the uncovered part bleached and the part that was covered uh or rather faded and the part that wasn't uh is almost brand new so it's a really interesting oh i got a little bit on the side too maybe maybe his arms were up in a position well no only his legs only his legs are tanned all right uh but anyway that is more or less the retrospective uh, in so far as the review part. Uh, if I were to pick between these two, as much as I like the nostalgia factor of, of this vehicle, the old, good old 4x4, oops, sorry, um, ambulance, uh, fit on the streets vehicle, it, I would have to go for this guy. But insofar as play value, and just it won't self-destruct on you factor um, I would have to go with this toy uh, this vehicle here a lot of pieces but you know what it's part of the the fun of Lego is building up things uh, it's kind of like a three-dimensional puzzle in a way uh, but yeah it was yeah uh, so I guess that's a point for modern uh, with the specialized parts and pieces and fenders and things so who knew um, I certainly didn't uh, but yeah so that's um, that's it uh, if you like my content, I'll um, I'll be doing a few more of these um, because I have a f couple that fit within this theme. Uh, so if you like this sort of thing, um, please like and subscribe. That is a part of the city that should not have <laughs> been there. Uh, anyway, uh, like and subscribe, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye.